Hey, video number three, uh, Markdown Previewer, Free Code Camp. Um, I hope I'm explaining the code well enough. It's a little bit hard for me. I'm, like I said, this is the first thing I've done in React, so communicating the code may be a little bit tough for me. But we left off at dangerously set inner HTML, and that's actually like part of React. So that's like a um, it's like a predefined prop um, in React. And you have you have to use it here because um, you're able to the way we have it set up you're able to in the text area that you enter in um, your input in your markdown or whatever um, you you can actually enter in HTML code and it will process it through marked um, and spit out that HTML so if you put in I'll show you an example. On my previewer right here, <laughs> I did, excuse me, just a P tag with a style border, two pixel dashed green, background, gray shade, color white, and rotate transform on it. And HTML works too for text. So you can see, oh, wait, I got a extra quote in there don't need that um and you can see that in the previewer it literally interprets it as html and that's one of the options that you can turn on and off just like how we turned on the carriage returns the, the, the default is to allow html through we could have set that to false and then i don't think you'd have to worry about the dangerously set html because it wouldn't be processing the html it would be sanitizing it which means uh, instead of like the carrot, if it sees a carrot, it automatically puts it to um, like and less than NLT or NRT, like if you're familiar with that. I um, hope I'm explaining that well. But so you have to use that dangerous, dangerous set in our HTML. The React people included it just to apparently just to make it a little more difficult. Uh, and to make you a little more aware of what you're doing when you're leaving yourself open to that sort of cross-site scripting or someone could enter in a malicious script into the text area or some hacker or something like that. But I'm really not worried about anyone even ever going to the site to use it. <laughs> so, And it, right as of right now, it's not even a site. It's just on CodePen. But so to quickly review, we declared our options. We initialized the renderer. We made sure the links are clickable and they opened up a new tab and we defined our app, which extends React component. It's got its state, it's got its um, method or, and it's got its um, binding for the method. Then it returns, this is basically what we get on our web page. And then we defined our editor in our preview with stateless uh, functional components or whatever, passing them the props from Daddy. Um, editor is a text area, preview is a div. Inside it is where we actually use the marked method and we're passing it um, props.markdown and the renderer. That's the syntax to basically just to get it read what you to get it to read what you've inputted in the text area. And the last thing you define this is what that guy uses as a placeholder. I'm gonna change it to my own version. Cause there's there's more stuff you can do. I think he's got a couple more things and I'll just I want it worded differently. But for now I used his. Um, but as you can see I've added so I put my own link in there. So I linked it to my blog. So it should, when I click it, open up a new tab with my blog. Not good.
That's not going to work either. Huh. Oh. Hmm, that's bogus. My site's not secure. I don't know how it figures that, but I'm going to have to Now it's saying that I might be stealing information from my site. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to change some settings on my. I just launched that site on a on a new host, so I'm gonna have to change some settings, apparently, to make that work. But that's a whole other whole other thing besides this, because that's that's bullshit. Because it goes. I don't know why I won't link to it from there because it has no problem. Google has no problem linking to it right here. This is my blog. Hmm. Did I enter the wrong address? Oh, I did. I forgot the ADK. Maybe now it'll work. No, it still doesn't want to. Huh. Anyway, I won't take up more time with that. Something I've got to deal with. But um, yeah, you can see it does. It does everything. It does code, um, images, bulleted lists. You can just type in a link too. It's got the GitHub. Some of the GitHub features. You don't even have to put the the link. You can just type out a link like that. And it automatically puts the link in. Um, pictures. It even does YouTube videos. That's a placeholder image. To a, a link to a YouTube video of mine. So boom. It goes right to a YouTube video. That's pretty cool. But now all you have to do is. Uh, all you have to do is style it. Um. I guess before I take it any further, and then this is this is all I did. Um, I just made adjusted them a little bit. And of course, oh, one more thing. I've got my div with an idea of root and my HTML. I almost forgot the last most important thing. React DOM dot render your app get element by ID root. That's you need that in order for it to render to the to the web page. That's at the very that's the very last thing you do. So I could I could leave um I could leave a link to this in the description of the video. But it also requires, um, like, it's not totally going to be set up just like mine unless you include foundation. But I'll, I'll leave a link anyways, and then all you have to do is add foundation um, inside a code pen. And that way it'll pass in the row and column so you'll have them side by side. Otherwise, I think they'll just be stacked on top of each other um, if you don't have if you don't have foundation on there too. And this will be a bare bones way to, it's a good starting point anyhow. All right, that's it.